Hi, I'm Krista Jacobson, headmistress of the Buddha Nikai. Today I'm going to make a quick little video about opportunity. Now before I begin, I want to tell you guys that this video is not about um, a sales pitch for me to sell a certain product. It's not about me asking for donations. It's me giving you guys the opportunity to do certain things. It is no secret that I write books, I make DVDs, I have an online university, and um, I provide these things so that people can purchase items from me so they can learn the martial arts that I teach and that I can take care of my family. But this particular video is about the items more than it is about here's a new DVD, buy it, okay? Now on Facebook the other day I made a post, I'm going to read the post and you're going to see why I'm making this video. Um, the other day, let's see here, on uh, Wednesday, yep, I, I posted this. Within the last week or so, I've had a few Budo Dukai supporters ask how they can help donate to the organization. I've never thought about having a quote-unquote donations page before, but since they asked, I did create a donations page on the website. Please see budodunijitsu.com if you guys would like to donate. It's on the lower left-hand tab. Um, I'm going on. It's no secret that 90% of my online sales comes from my supporters, not students. I'll make a video later to explain that statement. That's what this video is for. Again, I'm going to repeat that. It's no secret that 90% of my online sales comes from my supporters, not my students. I'll make a video later to explain that statement. For more information on donations, please see the link below. Thank you so much for your love and support. And then I provided the link. Um, before I begin about what I was talking about, if you guys are wanting to donate to the Buddha Yukai, there is a donations page and I list all the things that we are accepting donations for. So if you guys would like to donate, uh, then the opportunity is there. But I would like to get to this part of the video. When I made the statement, 90% of my online sales comes from supporters, not students, that's absolutely true. Now, what does that mean? A Budo Dukai student is someone who is studying the art of Budo Dukai Ninjutsu. Simple enough. A supporter is someone who does not study Budo Dukai Ninjutsu. They don't have any rank. That's, that, it's more easy to say, because some of them may have, may have purchased the online university, but they don't have any rank in the organization. They're a white belt, but they do buy the books and the videos and the downloads, and, and they support us by buying all of our products. So students are people with rank studying the curriculum. Supporters are people who usually study a different martial art. They don't study Budo Di Ninjutsu, and they buy our books and videos and DVDs and all that kind of stuff, okay? Um, so why does that happen? Why is there such a big, a, a big difference between the two? That's what I want to talk about in this video. I think, and this is just an assumption, I think that the students do not buy um, the DVDs and things like that because I, I, I think they feel like they're going to get it later in the curriculum. This group over here buys it because they're trying to add something to their existing training. So here's the example. If you're a, I'm going to use uh, Kempo as an example. There, are, let's say that there's a person over here who's a Buddha Dikai supporter, and they study Kempo. And I could do with this with any of the seven traditions, but let's use Kempo. So this is a Kempo student, and he's in a Kempo dojo off yonder somewhere, right? And this is a Buddha Dikai student, and they're studying Kokoro Kempo. This individual gets online, searches for Kempo DVDs, and they find out that we have some Kempo DVDs. They see the promos that we have on YouTube, and they're like, hey, not bad, I'd like to buy some DVDs. So they buy some of my DVDs. When they watch the DVDs, they're watching those DVDs from their perspective. They're studying, you know, fill in the blank Kempo, whatever type of Kempo you want to imagine, but they, they're, they're studying their type of Kempo, a totally different system, a totally different style, and then they're watching my Kempo videos. So when they watch that video, their understanding of what I'm doing is only based on their experience in another style and their perception of what they think I'm doing. So they study the techniques, they look at that kind of stuff, and then they add it to their martial training, which that's what a lot of people do because, and I'm a firm believer, you should learn how to adapt and improvise and continue to move on. I mean, that's, that's, how, we, that's how we survive. You adapt, improvise, move on, right? So um, that's what a lot of them do. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I think that's awesome. If you're going to study a martial art, why not look at other martial art DVDs? Why not look at those kind of things and see if those kind of techniques, can you add some of the techniques from somebody else's material to your skill set? You know, knowledge is lightweight and you can take it anywhere you go, right? So um, I think that's awesome that we have lots of supporters who buy our DVDs, they enjoy our DVDs, and that's what they do. 
Now over here, uh, the students usually don't buy DVDs, and I think that's because they think they're going to get it later in the training. So what I want to talk about now is what's actually on the DVDs, because that's important. A lot of these martial arts schools, they'll make DVDs and they say that this are the techniques of this school, and these are the techniques of this school, and these are the official kata of this ru, or that ryu, or that whatever, whatever, right? That's not what our DVDs are. All of our DVDs are made off of events, workshops, kudin workshops, seminars, uh, taikais, daikomiosais. All of our event, all of our DVDs are made off of the events that I teach. All of my events are advanced training from the base technique. So I want to go back to that Kempo student that bought some of our DVDs. They're looking at that from their perspective. If one of my students, who's in uh, the Buddha Yukai, watches the same DVD, they're going to get a completely different story. They're going to get a completely different image because they're studying Kokuru Kempo. And when they know the base kata and the base techniques of Kokuru Kempo and the way that we do Kion Waza, the way we do certain things, they watch those DVDs and they're going to be like, oh yeah, I get it. That's the way that I can take that old technique and then apply it against, you know, a multiple attacker situation, edged weapons, you know, da 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 da. And not that you don't get that kind of training inside the dojo. However, 90% of my students are in the online Ninjutsu University. This is where we're going to take kind of a detour, and I want to talk about that, okay? When I run a class here, when anybody who teaches Budodi Ninjutsu runs a class, a class is really broken into three sections. If we have a beginner, and I'm explaining it to a beginner, I say four sections because it's easier to understand. But when, when you really break it down, a class is broken into three sections. The first third of a class, the first 20 minutes, is going to be Kion Waza. Um, Push-up, sit-up, squats, punching, kicking, uh, working on combinations, sweating, calisthenics, all that kind of stuff. It's going to be working on the body. You're going to be working on your body, physically pushing your body to be a better martial artist. That's the first third of class. The second third of class, you're going to work on the mind. And you're going to learn things that you can use to apply. Now, that second section of class is different than the third section, which the third section is now we're looking at the spirit, the bushi key, samurai spirit. You're looking at that part of training, and the third part of training, the mind, body, spirit, that part of training is working out of the densho. You're learning the actual curriculum, the kata that's required, the waza that's required, the requirements for your specific level. So if someone came into class and they're in any one of our Budodi dojos, they're going to do ki on waza to start, then they're going to do some sort of application drills that could be bag work, that could be uh, sparring, grappling, it could be, you know, working on gun defense, knife defense, self-defense techniques, multiple attackers. It could be something as simple as just working on uh, a variation of some of the katas that's in class. That second section is, is there so that the instructors can make the students better. Then the third area section, everyone breaks up and then they work on the dinsho and then the teachers will go down and help everybody with their levels. Now, the middle section is where the online students, the people who are solitaire practitioners in the online dojo, they don't get that. They get the first 20, they get the first third of class, and they get the last third of class because the test is the exact same. The, the testing that you do, whether you're in my dojo or whether you're in the online university, the test is the exact same. This, the requirements are the exact same. The difference is when we're in the dojo, I'm going to have my students work on various things that I know are going to make them better people, make them better martial artists. And that could be the kudin, that could be working on knife defense, multiple attackers. It's going to be stuff that's not in the curriculum, but it's in the curriculum. It's, it's skills that you need to have. You need to learn them mentally so that you can physically do them. Okay. Now, how can people who are not part of the, any one of my schools, whether in a physical school, right? Uh, how can students get that? How can they learn that stuff? That's what's on the DVD. That's what those are for. So you have, that way you can round it out. If you are a Budo Dikai student, you should be getting the DVDs. That way you not just learn the base kata, but you understand how to apply it in a variety of different ways. Not just the one way that's supposed to be tested, the requirement. You know, and I, there are uh, kata that we have that have a variety of different hinka that are also required. But when you look at the DVDs, I go on for, you know, hours on how to do different techniques and how to apply to different ways. So it's up to you guys. You know, it, it, this is your opportunity. You guys have the opportunity to be, are you a student that does it by the book? Or are you a student that can do it more than one way? 
You know what I mean? And, and you know, I, I could, you know, you guys know my personality by now. I can crack the, you know, are you missionary? <laughs> you know, there it is, cut and dry. You know, or do you know how to do it more than one way? And in a way that does hit home base because you guys got to know when you get into a fight, it's not going to be by the book. It's not going to be like the kata. So, um, yes, there are required hinka. Yes, there are required waza, uh, required kata. Uh, but the DVDs are the material of advanced stuff that's grown or is derived from the traditional form. So when we have all of our monthly events, we have all the seminars and the workshops and the taikais and the size, everything that we're doing is a variation and an advanced movement of the base form. And I would assume that my students, or my students, everybody in the Buddha Dikai would want to have that information. So am I sitting here saying, buy all my DVDs today? No, it's absurd. You know, I understand everyone has finances, you got family, you have kids, you got responsibilities to take care of. I'm just saying that when you have an extra this and you want to buy a martial art DVD, then get it. Add those things. Don't, don't think that those DVDs are going to be part of, you know, going through the levels when they're not. Those DVDs are designed for people who want to take that extra step to learn advanced material, to learn an extra step. That's what they're for. They're, they're just, that's why we have workshops. That's why we have events. The workshops are not required. My students that come in here, they're not required to come to any of my workshops. They have an opportunity to come to my workshops. They're not required to come to the Tai Kai and required to come to the Daikomi Asai. They have the opportunity to come to the Tai Kais and come to the Daikomi Asais. And if they take advantage of that opportunity, they get a wealth of information and knowledge that they would not have got if they just came into the dojo and worked on the curriculum. That's what those DVDs are for. So if you guys are part of the Buddha Dikai and you're studying Buddha Di Nijutsu, I want you guys to really think, are you, are you the student that wants to just learn the curriculum and just get rank and go, go through the levels? Or are you the kind of student that wants to learn the curriculum and learn as much knowledge and become a master of the arts? You want to submerge yourself in all the information possible that I've provided in the hundreds of DVDs that we've made, all the books and all the downloads and all the things that we do. How much of the information do you want to know? If you want to be a master, to be a master, you have to get as much information as possible. That is the absolute truth. You can't just do something one way and then think that you're a master. You have to learn and ex have all this experience uh, many different ways to figure out how it works best for you. And that's what that is. That's what that provides. So in the post that I said, you know, let me put it back on here. It's no secret that 90% of my online sales comes from my supporters, not my students. I'll make a video later to explain that statement. That's what I mean. The majority of people who buy my DVDs are people who are from other martial arts schools. And I think that my students feel like what is in the curriculum is going to be there. What's in the curriculum is the, is the tradition, it's the, it's the transmission, and it's the kata. And it's the things that you need to know to get from one level to the next. The DVDs that are on the online universe, they're in the, uh, the the Ninjutsu Superstore. Those DVDs are an opportunity for you to learn more, to get more in depth to the kata, to get more knowledge of the kata, so that you can go out and experience the information in a variety of different ways, so that you can gain experience, and that experience is what's going to help you become the master that you want to be. So, was this a sales pitch video? Buy my DVDs? No, it's not. I'm not sitting here holding a new DVD in my hand and say, hey guys, here's a new DVD, buy it. You know, is this a video where I'm asking all my supporters to go to the buddharuninjutsu.com, go to the donation tab and submit some money? No, I'm not. What I'm saying is this is an opportunity. So for all of you guys who do follow me and you are supporters of the Buddha Dukai and you've asked about uh, donating money, I have, uh, I have made a donations page. I put on there what we are accepting donations for. And if you would like to donate, I would humbly accept and be grateful for it. Any, anything you guys give is, is wonderful. You know, um, I would be honored. If you guys are Buddha Dikai students and you're studying Kokuru Kempo, Tenjin Ju Jujutsu, you know, Tomoru Shinobi Jutsu, you guys are studying the seven traditions, the five areas of training, you're in the Buddha Dikai, you're part of the curriculum, you're studying the curriculum, and you want to know more than just the base 
the base technique. You want to know more than just the book. You want to be better than just the book. You have the opportunity as well. Some of you guys can't make the, the, the monthly events. You can't make it to the Tai Kai. You can't make it to the Daikomi Asai. But you could get the DVD. You could buy the DVDs and you could use those DVDs to help your training. I think all Budo Dinijutsu students should have a good library, maybe not every single one, but they should have a variety. That way when they're doing their workouts, because you gotta be working out multiple times a week, when you're using, when you're doing your workouts, you want to have something so it's not stagnant, not stale. So one day you work your curriculum, the next day you might work off of a Kudin DVD. The next day you work the curriculum, the next day you work off a Stealth Camp DVD. The next day you work the curriculum, the next day you work off the Dichomiosai information. That's how you spice it up. That's how you make yourself better. You know, experience the arts. Submerge yourself into them. That way you guys can be the best as you can be. All I'm doing is giving you guys the opportunity to do it. Um, so it's up to you whether or not you guys would like to do that. So, um, I'm going to end the video now because this was a lot longer than I actually wanted it to be. Anyway, thank you guys very much for all of your love and support, and I mean it. To all the students and supporters, thank you guys very much for all of your love and support. I do deeply appreciate it. I do, my family does, the, the Humble Dojo does. We do appreciate everything that you guys do for us. And um, saying thank you, you know, sometimes gets misused a lot and take it for granted but from the bottom of my, my heart i mean it thank you thank you for everything that you guys do for me and my family i deeply appreciate it um, until next time take care be safe and good luck in your journey of buddha